take a look at this new surveillance video released by the NYPD. These are the four men police say violently robbed an off-duty police officer and fractured his skull. Investigators believe they're responsible for at least 19 brutal robberies, a spree spanning almost a month in the Bronx and in Queens. And this is the black Honda sedan they've been using with out-of-state license plates. I hold the politicians are the ones that are responsible for it. They should be held accountable for what's happening in this city, from the bail reform to the petty crimes. Muhammad Ali is a friend of 48-year-old officer Mohammed Chowdhury, who can be seen here being ambushed and tossed to the ground. He was jogging on Olmsted Avenue yesterday morning when it happened, just blocks from home. The assailant struck him repeatedly in his head before stealing his phone, car keys and wallet. His nephew says his uncle was safer for 18 years on duty than he was off duty in his own neighborhood. He's almost clo like close down to his retirement in like two years and nothing like this ever happened to him or like he has ever encountered anything. In this video from Monday morning released by police, you can see three of the suspects jump out of the Honda as the fourth acts as a getaway driver. Cops say here they're about to rob a 36-year-old man on Quimby Avenue. One flashed a knife as the other stole a phone and wallet. And as they sprint back to their Honda, they rob a couple, a 32-year-old woman and a 48-year-old man pummeled. They had debit cards and $1,000 cash stolen. Just 10 minutes before those attacks, just a five-minute drive away here on Watson Avenue, those three suspects jumped a 55-year-old man. Same M.O. One of those suspects flashed a knife while a second man punched the victim in his head. They stole his phone and wallet and fled in a black Honda sedan. As for Officer Chowdhury, his loved ones say he is now conscious, alert, and able to communicate in his hospital room. He's the best man, best man among everyone here. I know him for 18 years. He never showed up like he's an officer displaying badge or, or proudness, this and that. He tried to keep that in himself. He's a very 